Team Prime lives on Earth, three years after their last confrontation with Decepticons. Autobot Outpost Omega-1 is located in a converted missile silo in Nevada provided by the United States government, with Special Agent William Fowler acting as their liaison. However, the presence of Transformers on Earth is not generally known among the civilian population. When the Decepticons resurface, the Autobots take three child witnesses, Jack Darby, Miko Nakadai, and Raf Esquivel under their protection. Megatron returns having discovered Dark Energon, which grants him the power to resurrect the dead, but is injured, with Starscream taking command in his absence. After Megatron's revival, Starscream flees after showing he is unable to prove his loyalty to the Decepticon leader. The Autobots and Decepticons eventually make the startling discovery that Earth is the body of Unicron, forcing them to ally and prevent his consciousness from reasserting control over the planet. Optimus Prime unleashes the Matrix of Leadership, but at the cost of losing his memory, thereby allowing Megatron to manipulate him into joining the Decepticons' ranks. By using information from Vector Sigma downloaded to the key, Jack restores Optimus's memory. The Autobots also contend with the human terrorist organization, MEC, headed by former military operative Leland Bishop, aka Silas, who targets the Cybertronians for their technology, capturing Breakdown, Bumblebee, and Starscream for parts, and building a doppelganger controlled by Silas. In the ensuing confrontation, Silas is fatally injured, forcing MEC to graft him into Breakdown. With this new body, Silas destroys his own organization and attempts to join the Decepticons, only to become Knockout's new dissection study. The Autobots and Decepticon struggle becomes a competition for Cybertronian artifacts strewn across the planet, which turn out to have been placed there by Alpha Trion, who foresaw the Autobots coming to Earth. Trion also orders them to find the Omega Keys, which will activate the Omega Lock and restore Cybertron. Though the keys are successfully gathered, Megatron gains possession of them and attempts to use the Omega Lock to cyberform Earth, forcing Optimus to destroy the lock to save Earth. Megatron responds by destroying the Autobot base, and Optimus is mortally wounded staying behind to ensure everyone else escapes through the ground bridge. From his newly erected fortress Darkmount, Megatron re-establishes contact with Shockwave, learning the scientist has cloned a Predacon for the intent of hunting down the Autobots. The Autobots regroup following Ultra Magnus's arrival, while Smokescreen restores Optimus with the Forge of Solus Prime. After destroying Darkmount, the status quo is restored, with the Autobots based at a unit, E facility, while the Decepticons retreat to orbit Earth in the Nemesis once more. The Autobots learn of Project Predacon and race the Decepticons for the location of Predacon fossils, to prevent Shockwave from cloning more of the beasts. Ultimately, Megatron manipulates the Autobots into destroying the project when he discovers Predakin is intelligent, and therefore a potential power rival. Instead, he turns his attentions to rebuilding the Omega Lock. After the Decepticons kidnap Ratchet to help in their plan, the Autobots assault the Nemesis and capture the ship, killing Megatron before he can use the Omega Lock to cyberform Earth. The Autobots use the Omega Lock to restore Cybertron and settle back on their homeworld. The new piece doesn't last as Cybertron's revival reawakens the slumbering Unicron, who takes Megatron's lifeless body as his own and seeks to destroy Primus. As Optimus retrieves the All-Spark, Autobots, Decepticons, and Predacons unite under Bumblebee and Predakin to face the Chaos Bringer in defense of their home. Optimus sacrifices himself to seal away Unicron and restore the All-Spark to its rightful place while Megatron disbands the Decepticons and goes into self-imposed exile.